Hi, I'm Sharice. And I'm Holly, and welcome to Ask Mom. Today we're going to talk about how to keep track of your period. Yes. It's something actually that I would, I, when I was a teenager, I would think, okay, well, if I had it on the 15th this month, I'll have it about on the 15th next month. But that's not actually how it works. No. No. So most girls have about a 28-day cycle. I think mm -hmm. that's pretty normal. Um, some girls have less than that, but this is how you're going to figure it out. So this is a calendar. And on this calendar, say you start right here. So this is the first day of your period. So you mark it somehow, a little red dot in the corner. A little or, red dot, little red dot. Yeah. That's always good, yeah. So you um, mark the day you start that you first see a sign of blood, and you mark that. And so now you're going to go, right, you're probably going to have a week of a period, right? It's going to end somewhere around here. Well, that's not the day you start counting from. You start counting from the first day you started your period. So if it's 28 days, you count from the first day you saw blood. So it's 7, 14, 21, 28. On the 31st, you're probably going to start again. So what I do is say I'll mark some little note to myself on my calendar here that I started, and then I'll count it out. And then I'll say, I'll put like a little notation to myself, you know, may start here or something like that. I just put a little red dot. And a second red dot? I just, yeah. So I just put a red dot. And then so I get it here or whenever I get it, say it doesn't come here and it comes in. Then I just go down again and I put a red dot. So I know the next month when I'm about to expect oh, it. Oh, that's smart. Mm -hmm. um, so it really does help you. And, and you can also, um, it's particularly the first few months when you're getting used to your cycle, you could also do things like mark moods. So if you notice you had big mood mm -hmm. swings and you'll start to see a pattern month after month, you'll start to see, oh, I kind of get a headache around here or, you know, I don't Why know. was I so testy a couple days before and you look at your calendar and go, oh, mm -hmm. yeah, I had severe cravings today. I wanted to eat everything chocolate in sight mm -hmm. or, you know, or I had cramps today. And so you'll start to see a pattern and then you'll know to recognize when your next period is going to come because you'll find that you'll Similar get things happening. tenderness in your chest or whatever it is that your um, symptom will start to come on and you'll say, oh, if I haven't looked at my calendar in a while. That's probably what's going on. The other thing is if you're irregular, it's a good thing to, to continue to mark it anyways because mm -hmm. if you, you're that irregular and you need to go see a doctor about it or something, um, you can say, well, this is when I was supposed to start. I'm like 25-day cycles or um, you know, I go 10 or you, can, mm -hmm. you have it all marked out so it's kind of helpful for you to know and for a doctor to know too. Yeah, I think that's good. And particularly, yeah, if you have really heavy cycles or you have anything wrong, marking, you know, you could even mark how heavy, I mean, obviously this needs to be a private, it's not like, you know, on the internet kind of calendar, but, um, but you could mark on it how heavy you were, like, you know, seven tampons, you know, every hour, whatever, however it is you want to mark it. Um, it's great to keep track of it. Because you don't want to be caught with white pants on this day. <laughs> That's when you want to wear your dark pants. That's right. That's when you want to make sure you always have supplies in your backpack so you, so are, you don't have any surprise. So you are ready. That's right. Spare set of clothes, something. Mm. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we hope that this helps you. I'm Holly. I'm Sharice. And feel free to email us hollycharice at yahoo.com. And happy tracking.